Good evening and welcome. I'm Vincent Macquarie. This is Africa 54. Now, the voters in the Central African Republic have spoken and 90% are in favor of the new constitution. The results of Friday's referendum will pave the way for presidential and parliamentary elections beginning on December 27th. The referendum results still must be validated by the Constitutional Court, which will complete uh, that task two weeks after the publication of, that com of the complete provisional tally. The proposed constitution reigns in the president's power and extends that of parliament, establishing a senate to complement the existing National Assembly. It also creates a special criminal court to try grave crimes. The CAR has been mired in conflict for nearly three years since mostly Muslim rebels from a coalition called the Seleka seized power in the majority Christian country. Now for the latest on the situation in the CRR, Katarina Hoje joins me by phone from Bangi. Katarina, welcome to Africa 54. Thank you. Yes, now first uh, give us an update. Uh, what are you hearing uh, as far as uh, results from other provinces are concerned? Well, what we are hearing from both from Bangi and other uh, provinces is that a majority has voted yes to, to this new constitution. Uh, like you mentioned, the result has been confirmed and we're still waiting to hear from a lot of the, the provinces. But what, what I was told earlier today is that we might expect the results already tomorrow, which is uh, way ahead of uh, when the constitutional court has to deliver them. I think it's not so much about the result here, but the fact that the country was actually able to go through its referendum and vote despite some, some minor disturbances, especially here in Bangui. And those disturbances were a great source of concern. Uh, what is the situation today as we speak? Well, most people I've spoken to say that the situation has come down, and that's actually the feeling I, I get in Bangui. Unfortunately, after three years of well, almost three years of conflict, people are pretty used to, to the occasional gunfire. Uh, but that seemed to have have come down. Many mentioned the referendum as uh, kind of the, the last chance for the armed groups to show that they they still have a presence in the capital, but they're not as strong as they can as they can continue controlling it, and they're not strong enough to distort the upcoming uh, elections. And of course that is putting in place the structures and institutions, uh, but what are you hearing about uh, the people themselves, the reconciliation between the Muslims and the Christians? Again, people keep on in insisting uh, that the problem has, uh, the situation is getting better and better every day. Uh, the problems are now with the uh, small militia groups and basically bandits that keep on taking advantage of the situation. And this divide that does still exist, but it's, it's not really a problem in daily life. I meet Muslims who keep on going into the, to the Christian neighborhood and Christians who come and work in the Muslim neighborhood. And even though they still live divided or very much divided, there is interaction between the two groups and it's getting better and better. And uh, very briefly, I know you just got there, but is there any sign that uh, people who had run away from their neighborhoods are coming back? We have been seeing people coming back over the last year. Unfortunately, when people come back, there, there tend to be some tension or fighting erupting, and people don't dare to come back with the whole families. Some have not yet uh, dared to settle down in their old neighborhoods. A lot of people have, of course, have their houses destroyed. Uh, businesses have been taken over by their neighbors. So there is a small trickle of people returning to Bangui, but I think it will take some time before people actually feel it's definitely safe to come back. Well, Katarina, thank you very much. Uh, Katarina Hoji reporting from Bangui.